everyone, it's time for us to talk about probably one of the best used iPhones I've ever bought. Now this specific iPhone is probably the best one you can buy in my opinion. It's a great value per dollar. It's a couple years old, but it's the most expensive iPhone Apple made back in 2019. This is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now with this specific iPhone, well, I'll definitely tell you, I definitely got a really good deal with it, but you can see for yourself, I mean, this thing does have a cracked back. This thing's top is cracked. The bottom portions are cracked too, but personally, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. If you were going to use this as an everyday device, I would probably be okay putting a skin on it. As you can see, it's really not that big of a deal, but it's not until you actually look at the big picture that you realize, man, it is kind of cracked up. But if you were willing to go ahead and buy one in better condition, it's going to spend a little bit more money. I honestly don't think you can get a much better value per dollar iPhone than something like the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, I think I spent around $300 on this specific iPhone, which is actually, I think it was maybe $390 or $350, something like that, which is actually pretty insane because this iPhone in 2019 was over $1,000, $1,100 for the base model. And when I use this iPhone now, when I look at it, it's actually pretty insane to me how good of a device this thing still is in 2022. Now, I think this one also had a pre done panel or something like that a redone screen so they replaced the screen on it which honestly this thing still looks almost to me like the perfect screen so i don't know if they replaced it with another one i'm not too sure but it looks really really good now another thing i want to say is the build quality of this iphone this thing even though mine's broken on the back this thing still feels extremely premium it does not feel cheap at all and even when compared to something like the 13 pro max very few differences to be honest now another thing i want to tell you guys is with the top portion of the notch. Now, honestly, when you look at the latest iPhones, all these iPhones still have notches. So even when you look at an iPhone like this, with the notch, it's really not that big of a deal. The rest of the entire panel still looks very, very good as well. So I really haven't had too many issues in that standpoint. And I think that's probably one of the biggest advantages with buying an iPhone like this is because even with the 13 Pro Max, even with the 14s that are coming out, even if they remove the notches and everything, I still think this is going to be a really good looking panel as well. Now, performance-wise, I've already done a million videos on this thing based off the performance, and I've had nothing but tremendous performance on this type of device. Personally, when I use an iPhone like this, I always look out for, you know, if it's glitching up and whatever, and even on iOS 16, I'm getting really good performance. And because this iPhone is this big and it has, you know, great build quality and everything, but because this iPhone is massive, you're actually kind of getting a really big size battery on this thing, almost 4,000 million hours. This is, I think, the second biggest battery size Apple's ever put on an iPhone and that in and of itself deserves a lot of praise as well. So personally when I look at this iPhone, I look at the great build quality, I look at the camera of this thing too. I mean this thing's camera is still exceptionally great. You have a triple camera setup, you have the ability of zooming in a ton, you have the ability of zooming out a lot, you have video mode at 4K at 60, you have a lot of different things, 4K at 60 on the front as well. This is without a doubt still a flagship phone in my opinion. And honestly, when I look at this iPhone and I look at all the other iPhones Apple's made since then, there's definitely pros and cons. You know, I think definitely the newest iPhones are much better, but I think Apple did a tremendous job with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And I still think this iPhone is completely worth it in 2022. And I honestly think this is probably the best budget tier or best used iPhone you can probably buy. I think the iPhone XR is probably a close second. But if you have the money, I think this is probably the best one you can pick up. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, love me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.